So today we're going to talk about chronic fatigue syndrome. Now, if you look at this up, you're going to find that it has an unknown cause. And the name for that is idiopathic, which means unknown cause. It's worse with exercise. In every single case that I've seen, they have poor sleep and sleeping does not improve the situation. Um, they're constantly exhausted and there's no test that will pick this up. Now, I personally had this condition in my 20s and I did not know what to do about it. Uh, I did not look sick from the outside, but when I would wake up in the morning, I was so tired despite drinking massive amounts of coffee. Uh, I could not wake up. I was in a constant fog trying to search out something that could help me. I'd be driving down the street with my wife and I would say, honey, there's a health food store. Let's go in there. Maybe I can buy another vitamin to try to get my energy back. And I had a warehouse filled with supplements and I'm not kidding. And I would be taking over 150 pills a day and nothing worked. But before we get into what I did to solve this problem, click that red subscribe button and that little bell icon so you can be notified of all the new videos that I'm about to release. And in addition to that, you'll also get notifications of the upcoming live Q&A that I do several times a week. All right, so what are the big symptoms of chronic fatigue syndrome? You guessed it, chronic fatigue. But there's some other ones that will give us the clue to uncovering what's really behind this problem. So we also have memory loss, sore throat. We'll come back to this. Enlarged glands in your armpits and your neck right through in here. That's a little red flag as well. Joint pain, headaches. You're unresponsive to sleep. You sleep, but there's no change with your energy. An extreme exhaustion. Okay, so the enlarged glands and the sore throat give it away. One of the biggest causes of chronic fatigue syndrome is a hidden virus, okay? What you need to know about viruses is this. A virus is not really alive. It's a piece of genetic material wrapped in a little sack that gets activated by your own cells, okay? And what happens when your immune system overcomes the viruses and deactivates them, they can lie dormant for years and they can also come out of remission and be active. That's called the latent virus. The most common virus behind chronic fatigue syndrome is the Epstein-Barr virus, okay? If you've ever had mono before, you have Epstein-Barr virus. 90% of the population on planet Earth have Epstein-Barr virus. It's very, very common. I had it myself really, really bad to the point where I could barely even swallow. It was so painful. And this was in high school. So what happens is you have this infection, it eventually kind of goes in remission. You're doing fine for many years. And then you accumulate a lot of stress and maybe you have nutritional deficiencies. And then the virus comes out of remission. Now, you may not experience a full-blown infection, but just a few of them. And one is chronic fatigue or achiness. So what makes this virus come out of remission primarily is stress. It could be a loss of a loved one or stress at work or whatever, and the virus starts coming out of remission. If you combine stress with nutritional deficiencies, the virus can come out and actually create extreme exhaustion. Also, Epstein virus is one of the causes of Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune hypo thyroid condition. If you have Hashimoto's, you definitely need to watch the video I have on that down below and also take selenium. Very, very important. In this situation right here, you need high doses of vitamin D. Now in the study I have below on this, it, it equates high doses of vitamin D being 20,000 I use. From my viewpoint, that is not that high. I would recommend 40,000 I use if this is what you have. Vitamin D is one of the most potent nutrients to help put a virus back in remission. Zinc is number two. You would want to take 30 milligrams of zinc and also fulvic acid. That's a really good one as well. You can get this from the health food store. If you're new to my channel, you definitely need to learn about something called healthy keto and intermittent fasting because that will help you with this right here and it will also help to put this back in remission. 
And let's not forget about this stress. You must do everything you can to improve this stress state because unless the stress is improved, it's very difficult to send this back into remission. And the second thing that will cause chronic fatigue syndrome, and this is what I had. I had this and I had this as well, really bad. Insulin resistance. What is insulin resistance? Well, insulin is a hormone that does a lot of things, but one of the things that it will do, it'll act as a key to open up the cell to allow fuel and nutrients to go into the cell. So if you have a lot of insulin being pumped out in your body over a long period of time, that could be toxic. So the body is going to resist that and you're going to create this condition called insulin resistance. At least 65 to 70 plus percent of the population has this and they don't usually even know it. One of the big things it'll create is belly fat. Okay, so if you look down and you can see your belly, chances are you have insulin resistance. If you can't go for more than three or four hours without needing a snack or food, you have insulin resistance. If you crave sweets, you have insulin resistance. If you eat a meal and you're not satisfied and you need a little bit of sweet after that, you have insulin resistance. If you're getting up through the night and having to urinate, chances are you have insulin resistance. Insulin also lowers blood sugar. So insulin is related to blood sugars and consuming too many carbohydrates. So if you've been on a high carb diet, like most of the population, that's really what's behind this. So the relationship between insulin resistance and fatigue is that your cells are starving of fuel, especially the brain and even the muscles. They're going to be tired and you're not going to have the mental energy. You're going to have a lack of focus. One really, really good, simple demonstration you could do with yourself is just consume a protein meal. Okay, just proteins. You can have some vegetables, no sugar, no extra carbohydrates, and see how you feel, okay? If this fatigue goes away, then it's most likely that you have this condition. It's very, very simple to correct if you actually do healthy keto and intermittent fasting, okay? I have about 500 videos on this. But don't worry about watching all of those right now. Just watch the ones that I put down below in the uh, description. Okay, there you have it. The two main causes of chronic fatigue syndrome, which if you really understand this and you apply what I'm showing you, it's pretty straightforward to resolve this condition. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, click the red button below and that little bell icon so you can be notified of all the new videos that I'm gonna be releasing. And I have some very cool and interesting videos coming up in the next coming weeks. Plus, in addition to that, you'll be notified of the live Q&A sessions that I'm gonna be doing throughout the week and you don't wanna miss those as well. So stay tuned for more great content.